To discover the villages with Jana Raver. We have our usual features this week. What do you get for your money? MLS stats, restaurant review, three holes of golf, and house of the week. Before we get to that, we are going to take a look at when Brownwood is the busiest, and that is when Rocky and the Rollers have their anniversary concerts. I tell you what, it was absolutely packed, and how fortunate are we that we have bands that want to stay around for 25 years. That is fantastic. Take a look. That comes to each one of our squares, and you know the squares that we have include Sawgrass Grove, let me tell you that if you have not received the 25th anniversary pin, they are no longer at that tent, but they're back where the Rocky and the Rollers commemorative t-shirts, which are available, so you'll get those pins as well. Scooter the DJ has showed up tonight, and he's in his photo booth over there. Please uh, stop by and get yourself a nice photo. It's a very memorable night. Plenty of food vendors here, and certainly it is worthy of a silver anniversary. I will tell you that uh, of the band that is playing tonight, I met Rocky and the Rollers back in 1986. Some of you already know the story. Bear with me just real quick. Little Darling's rock and roll pals became Wolfman Jacks. He comes in one night playing drums for the uh, renowned Novells and Danny and the Juniors. History would be made during that time during a television show. And then about a decade, he gives me a call and says, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm up here in North Carolina. Would you like to come down? to the villages, and I kind of knew what the villages was all about, and I said yes. I arrived, and uh, I've been lucky enough to work with him over the last decade. You have been lucky enough to see him for the last 25 years in the villages. With all the musicians that come to the villages, you know you're gonna see the cream of the crop tonight because we've got a lot of surprises and a lot of special guests that have been joined on this very special stage. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let me say the silver anniversary, the 25 years that we celebrate tonight, are with the recent nominees in the East Coast Music Hall of Fame, the inductees into Idaho Lost in the 50s Music Hall of Fame. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to rock the square Please welcome the world-renowned Rocky and the Rollers! told you it was busy. Cameraman plays golf three times a week and sometimes one in the group is on vacation and someone else fills in. Well, cameraman was extremely impressed with this young man.
Yes, I do. I've been coming here for nearly 20 years, and uh, my wife and I were very active. We both golfed, played cards, went to the uh, squares. There's a lot of activity for any age group or any physical ability you have. I'm 89 years old. I get out as often as I can. Uh, I enjoy the game. Not as good as I used to be, but I enjoy the fellowship of getting out and meeting uh, different fellows. Cameraman said he hopes to be that fit when he's 70. Never mind 89. Now let's get on with what do I get for my money? And now let's take a look at the MLS stats for the week of April 8 through 15. Solds this week, 29. Last week we had 42. Pending, 41. Last week, 46. New listings this week, 47. Last week, 50. Price reductions, 63. 31 last week. Yes, 31. 31. Hey, Miss Jenna, are you completely better now? I am, thank you. Yay! What's for Yay. supper? Yeah. Man, we get real food. Oh, I've been waiting so long. Mm. <laughs> Active homes on the market last week was 408. This week, 419. Lots to choose from. There's a lot of very nice homes on the market, I might add. We've got something a little different for you today. We are at the Sunny Pike, which is right off of 44, almost to Wildwood. And we have driven by here many times, and I've always wondered what this place was like. Wow, what a shock. I mean, it is so festive. Look at all the craft beers they have, most of which are from right here in Florida. Um, and they rotate, so uh, you can taste, taste them if you want. And they offer sandwiches, salads. I've ordered the chicken salad wrap, and cameraman has ordered the hummus wrap, and we're trying some tater tots, um, with special sauce for an appetizer. So, welcome. We're so glad we he we're here. <laughs> the 
Our food just arrived and my uh, chicken salad wrap looks yummy. It's full of chicken salad. I haven't tried it yet. Here's our tater tots. I gotta have one. <laughs> Very good. Cameraman's hummus wrap looks very interesting. I'm gonna have a bite of that. And we each have uh, a serving of potato chips. That is really good. It's got cranberries in it and red onion and the chunks of white chicken meat. Very, very, very good. Potato chips are almost trying cameraman's. If I can eat it without it squeezing all over me. Mm. Very, very tasty. There's lots of different flavors in there. Put your tongue to a test. <laughs> You're gonna love it, cameraman. We've got a sample here, and this is a blonde coconut. It's from the Isla Morada Brewery, and it's called No Wake Zone. Stronger than what I normally drink, but it's got a nice flavor. And now I'm gonna try the Sunny Pint Stay Sunny Lager. It's brewed down in Orlando. That's more my style. It's very light. Uh, we're just sampling these today. So what's really nice here is they they encourage you to sample any of their beers here that you think you might want. And even though we told them that we weren't drinking, it's lunchtime, they still insisted that we, <laughs> that we tasted these. So, really nice. Cameraman was really pleased with the uh, no wake zone that he tried because it had, you could really taste the coconut in there without it being overpowering. And mine was very, very light um, and refreshing, and that's what I like. We will definitely come back again and try some more. And um, by the way, they also have entertainment, some Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and the entertainment is on the inside, so it's not outside where it's warm. So this is a fun little place. When they first brought um, the wrap out, I thought, hmm, that's a little bit on the small size. But I tell you what, with everything that's in here, this is the perfect size, what we got. So I really enjoy that. thoroughly enjoyed my sandwich. The tater tots were excellent. I am still chomping on my chips, but I have to give this a nine and a half. I love the atmosphere, the food, the fact that you can taste beers. Um, cameraman. So now cameraman and I are going to finish our chips and we are looking forward to coming back next time. And now it's time for House of the Week. Welcome to 1232 Santos Place. We are in the village of Del Mar, just off of Rio Grande. And this is a two bedroom plus den, 
two bath, beautifully remodeled home. But before we go in, come here. I want to tell you something. You've actually seen this house before. It has been on House of the Week. We sold it, uh, we listed it just over a year ago and sold it on the first day from the video. And unfortunately, the people that bought it had to go back home. So it's on the market again. So come on in. Wait till you see it. This place is full of renovation and color. The people that did this really love color. There's pops of it everywhere. Look what a large living room. All of the furniture stays. The TV, everything you see in here. The fans have been upgraded. And the stacked stone wall is very, very dramatic. There's another one off the kitchen table. This chase, although extremely comfortable, it was, last time I sold it, it was in the lanai. And I don't particularly know if it goes here or not. It seems like it crowds a little bit, but that's just my personal choice. So this can be moved anywhere you want to put it, actually but it is extremely comfortable. Look at this gorgeous kitchen. Not only is it beautiful, but it's very practical as well. There are tons of hidden features. All these drawers, top and bottom. Look at all the drawers here. These cabinets are very tall. And look at the size of these over here. I mean, is that not fabulous? And these are bins. You could put potatoes, onions, whatever. I love it. Check this out. You've got stuff in your hand that you want to throw in the trash. You just press that, automatically slides open, put it up. It's got storage here for um, your kitchen utensils, kitchen sink utensils and things. Very nice. These three beautiful pendant lights match just the one here in the hallway and also in the entrance. And by the way, those are from recycled glass. These shades here are controlled electrically controlled, electronically controlled. And this, this one also controls that. You've got another gorgeous stacked stone wall here. Everything coordinates so beautifully. This is quartz counters. The stainless steel appliances look quite new. This is brand new. Look at the amount of room that you have over here for this lovely dining area. Great size table here. Beautiful, comfortable chairs. Look how big this area is. Between this and the three bar stools over there, I mean, you can have a load of people. And how beautiful, very interesting is this light unique. I like the colors. We have the water heater in here and have you noticed they painted the doors dark navy to match the rest of the cabinets. This is a, a bar area or you can make it a coffee station whatever you'd like. There's pendant lights here. And this is a closet for whatever you need. Brooms, dustpans, whatever. The 
This is a very nice size lanai. You can open all the shades or you can keep them shut for privacy. The back, you've got quite a bit of yard here and it's pretty private. It would be perfect to put a bird cage or extend the patio, whatever you want to do out there. This leads out to the carport. Convenient. And with this room being right off the kitchen, it's absolutely perfect. If you're having a get together party, you've got all this space that you can overflow to. Primary bedroom here has tons of space. There's no furniture in here, but plenty of room for whatever you want to put. Vaulted ceiling and the blinds are electronically controlled as well. So let's check out the bath. This has convenient pocket door. I love how modern this bathroom looks. Aren't these beautiful with the lights all around? Double sink. Nice deep drawers. This is a walk-in closet here with all the drawers you'd ever need. <laughs> Just really, really nice. And this is the commode the size of this shower head and there's also a little thing that you can use to wash your back off and that is so cool I love it this toilet both of the toilets in this bathroom and the other are both Toto toilets they are water saver and they're very popular and some more storage here storage up top also if you need it. Right next door is the guest bedroom. Vaulted ceiling again. The shades are electronically controlled and this is a very pleasant looking room. You have a walk-in closet here and wait till you see this bath. Uh, it is so nice. This is state of the art, I think. Check this out. Even the grandkids will get clean in there. And this bath serves dual purpose since it is ensuite to the guest room and also access from the hallway which allows your guests to use it as well. Here we have the stacked washer and dryer. and extra storage over here. And over here, we have pocket door. Oops. And this is this room is an office or den. They're using it um, as a partial guest room when people come. But it can't really be a bedroom because it doesn't have a closet. The blinds are electronically controlled by this switch. And 
This is quite cozy, I think. Out here, you've got a great size carport. I've had my large SUV up in here, and it's plenty deep for a truck. And because the sun doesn't glare in here, it, it's relatively cool. Let's go inside the golf cart garage. And this golf cart garage is a lot bigger than it looks from the outside. Plenty of room for your golf cart. As you see, they've got bicycles. This is new. It is Wi-Fi controlled, so you don't have to worry about a rain sensor. It's controlled by the weather. Let's go in and sum this unique property up. This home was built in 1990. Once again, it's in the village of Del Mar. It has 1,500 square feet, two bedrooms, two baths, and a den or office. Beautifully well-designed new kitchen, quartz countertops, new sprinkler system. The roof was replaced in 23. The HVAC and the water heater have also been replaced recently. This house is fantastic. It would make a great home or a fabulous rental. Now's your turn to guess the price. It is listed at $339.9. If you have interest, don't wait. Call, text, or email me. I'll be happy to show you this house. Let's go play three holes of golf. We're on the executive course at Belmont. It is a gorgeous day, and I'll tell you what, this golf course is in excellent shape. They have uh, been working on it and it's now back open and it looks gorgeous. I'm gonna go from the gold on the first tee is 116 yards. Let's see what happens. Well, it's not gonna get there, but I didn't get wet either. <laughs> that would have turned out better if it didn't hippity hop on that long grass. But a little bit of work to do before I can get into next year's Masters. It looks like. Not complaining. It's a gorgeous day and uh, it's about 6.30. We're a little bit backed up because everyone else decided to come out and play also, but what a neat spot to, to be right by the lake and we've been watching the ospreys dive for fish. Hopefully another one will come around. This is hole number two, and we are 158 yards. As you can see, there's uh, water to the left, a sand trap to the left. I think I'm going right. I tell you what, I need some Wheaties. I have no strength this afternoon. Let's see what I can do here. A little bit turning. Get in there. Number three, and it's 103 yards from the yellow or gold. And you've got this beautiful pond over here to your right, which I'm going to try my best to stay out of.
Whoa, baby. Whew, I think I overshot that one. <laughs> Cameraman told me to use my seven. I wanted to use my nine, so whose fault was that that I overshot? Ah. Oh, whoa, 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 don't you dare. All right. Turn. Golly, wouldn't you have thought that would have more break? It sure did not. Let's see if I can get this in. Oh, yeah. So, looks like I'm playing bogey golf tonight. These are three holes one, two, and three on Belmont. And I tell you what, I don't have any excuses for playing poorly because it's gorgeous out here. The golf course is gorgeous. The weather is gorgeous. Jana just doesn't have it tonight. This past open house I had, I had two different couples stop in and meet with me because they watch my videos. They aren't ready to buy yet, but they wanted to get to know me and for me to get to know them a little bit for when they are ready. And it was such a great experience. Don't forget, if you're here, if you're coming down, let me know, get in touch with me. Even if you're not ready to buy, I can help you. I can set you on an auto mailer and point you in the right direction. I love helping. I wanna ask you a favor. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. You can subscribe and be notified when the next video comes out. It doesn't cost anything. And I want everyone to hit that like button. That helps our channel spread and helps us tremendously. I want to thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, bye. You've got stuff in your hand that you want to throw in the trash. How does that work? Do it again? Okay. So in the trash, you just press that, automatically slides open. Last week, I, nope. If you haven't already, please plus, <laughs> plus. <laughs> oh. Next time. I just. And now let's take a peek at the MLS stats from the week of the fifth through. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I'm sorry.